this isn't work, it's play. I am making flower pot desserts and they're just so cute. You can do one big flower pot dessert for your garden party or your birthday party or you can do individual flower pot desserts, however uh, you want to do it. There's lots of different recipes for this, um, but here's one that's quick, easy and delicious. Okay, we're starting out and rich too with one eight ounce block of softened cream cheese and I'm going to mix that together with some powdered sugar. How are you today, Ann? It's hot, isn't it? Oh wow, I know it. Okay, so powdered sugar and cream cheese, and we're going to beat that together and get all the lumps and bumps out of it. And that may take a minute or two. We got a lot of nice comments on our show about Elkhart Lake, so thank you so much. It really is fun to hit the road every once in a while. And go explore, check out some of the great towns that we have in our neck of the woods. So if you want us to come to your town, let us know. Who knows? Maybe we will. Okay, so I just want to mix this together. There we go. You can look the beaters if you'd like, Dan. <laughs> Cream cheese and, and powdered sugar doesn't get much better than that. Okay. Now in the second bowl, I'm going to mix together some instant chocolate pudding. I think I'm going to double this part of it because we've got nice big flower pots. And do we have another box of pudding? In the cupboard, she says. Basically, she means get it yourself. All right. I just usually can't find anything. It's like. You know, when you're looking for your glasses, your sunglasses, where are my glasses? Did anybody see my glasses? Yeah, and they're, they're, they're on my head. It happens to me all the time. Okay, so I'm doubling this recipe because um, we've got really big flower pots to fill, this part of it anyway. So basically we're using instant pudding and cold milk. We love our lamer's milk. Have you been out to the Lamers Dairy? They are our milk sponsor, and that's a really fun thing to do with the kids this summer. Take them on out to the dairy. They can, you know, a lot of these kids are city slickers, so, you know, they haven't been out to the farms, and this farm isn't too far away. It's actually, you know, uh, right in the Appleton area, but they've got a store there with ice cream, and the kids can kind of take a peek at how they make milk and all that kind of good stuff, so that's a, that would be a fun kind of field trip, summer field trip for the kids. All right, so I'm whisking together our milk and our pudding just until it starts to thicken a little bit. Have you been doing anything fun this summer? You? Babysitting. Babysitting? Dog sitting, dog -sitting yes. Anne is watching my dog. Levi's doing great, by the way, um, but when we go out of town, I don't, I don't, you know, it's tough to, you know, um, leave a dog at a kennel, not that there aren't great ones around, but uh, he and Ann's dog, Levi and uh, Goo, Ann's dog, get along really well, so Ann, every once in a while, will watch my dog if we're out of town for the weekend. They're so cute together. Okay, so I'm just mixing this, and as we go along, it's going to thicken up a little bit. Now I went to just the, uh, you know, the dollar store or garden store or, you know, um, wherever you can pick these up, maybe you have some around your house, and got some um, clay flower pots. As I said, you could do this in one big flower pot. Um, you could, you know, these happen to be a little bit bigger. Uh, they actually have mini little flower pots, so it just depends on how big you want to make these. But these are just the cutest thing ever. Um, and then I don't like, you know, eating this mixture, even if the pots are very clean. Um, I still don't like eating the mixture right out of the, the pot. So what I, we did was we picked up some uh, larger cupcake liners. And these are like for the Texas size muffin cups. Or you could line them 
line these with plastic wrap or foil, something like that, just so that basically, you know, when you're eating uh, this wonderful concoction, that, you know, it's all clean and all that kind of good stuff. Um, picked up some really cute artificial flowers, uh, or, you know, you could do um, edible flowers that you can pick up. Um, but pick up some real fun little flowers. And then if you want, um, the kids, of course, love gummy worms, so that would be another fun thing to decorate it with. And then we've got one package of um, chocolate cream filled cookies, um, you know, or otherwise known as Oreos. Um, and then we, this is another thing, you know, especially, well, I was going to say especially the boys, but girls like this too. Uh, when you get the kids into the kitchen, and I'm all a big believer of uh, giving the kids a little drawer. I got to bring this picture in one of these days. I have the cutest picture I snapped of my kiddos when they were really, really little. Uh, Ireland must have been maybe just nine months old. She w was walking really early, and and the, my kids are about six years apart. So Riley would have been, you know, six years old, something like that. So I've got a picture of them, and they're in the kitchen. And of course, I was there, but I was the one snapping the picture. And they're making a cake together. And Ireland's up on a stool, and she could, you know, just walking, and they're licking the beaters and. I got them in the kitchen really, really young, um, and I gave them each a drawer and an apron and some old utensils and measuring cups, and uh, I just made them feel a part of it. And um, it really has paid off because now they're making dinner for me every once in a while. So uh, get those kids, if you're grandparents and you're watching the kids this summer or mom and dad, get them in the kitchen. Start with something fun like this, desserts and things like that, um, and then hopefully next thing you know, they'll be helping uh, scramble the eggs for Sunday breakfast and then maybe one day even making dinner. So. You know, the kids love pounding up the Oreos. I've just got them in a Ziploc bag. Use a meat mallet or a frying pan, rolling pin, you name it. It's all going to work good. And now we're going to start layering. So we've got our Oreos. And I'm just going to use my hands. You could use a measuring cup. And we're just going to start filling these dirt cups and layering. We'll do three of them. But like I say, you're going to get probably, depending on the size, just depends on the size of your, um, your your pots, but if you're doing little guys, you could probably get a good eight to ten or more of these. Okay, so a layer of the Oreos. Now we're gonna do a yummy layer of this rich cream cheese powdered sugar mixture. And you don't need to do a whole ton of that because that's really, really rich. And then we've got some of this chocolate pudding. You could also do vanilla pudding. Layer some of that on top. Like I say, these are great big ones. And then, of course, you got to put some more of the dirt. So in this case, the Oreos on the top. All right, so lots of crumbs. And yeah, it's a little messy. I always say that's what dogs and vacuums are for, right? <laughs> All right. And now you decorate these guys with your flowers. So we can just do one or two per pot, just depends. And there you go, flower pot desserts. They're perfect for your summer party, your garden party. Fun uh, thing to do with the kids. They just make me smile. Recipes on our website. You can also pick up the recipe at any area festival foods. We'll be back with more fun ideas for your summer party. Uh, we've got a great stuffed mushroom appetizer recipe. We're making zucchini pancakes and a fresh tomato salad too. So don't go anywhere because we'll be back.